Good day everybody and welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for watching today. I'm so sorry for not doing a lot of content. I've been busy, it's been going a little bit crazy and uh, you know just life in general. But I wanted to do a quick niche flash. I think the biggest thing is that I will be getting my twin very soon and that is that's good, the good news and then obviously we can delve a lot more deeper into into the EX city. But I do see a lot of people of you and then leaving the channel. Please keep in mind that I've got a pledge where I will be giving the EX City away. That's my ultimate goal. So I'm really working hard. Share and subscribe as much as you can. And like everything else that comes with it so that we can, we can get it to the, to the next level for, for giving uh, products away. And of course, we will have all kinds of merchandise and everything else that we will be giving away. But I was wanted to do a quick news flash on, on what's happening in the world of, of um, environment and the EX city and just just everything in general. So this is going to be a little bit a little bit about what's going on in the world if it comes to solar, what's going on in the world if it comes to electric cars and everything in a nutshell. First of all, I want to quickly do an a update on the Mi 25. So, unfortunately, I do think that Volvo needed to do a, a recall there. I think it's not fair. I mean, what are we looking at now? Every year we need to upgrade to a, to a new car. Look. I do not understand that logic from, from Volvo, I, as I was saying, that Volvo is definitely not perfect and that just shows you that they've, they've obviously seen where they can improve and they, they're fixing it now to, to, to get an even better product. But it's a steering wheel and it's basically on the sides the EX30 uh, logo has moved to the back. So if you really need to, I mean, there's aftermarket things you can probably do and you can only probably do whatever with the steering wheel yourself if you if, if it really bothers you but this is really really small changes you know what i mean so that probably doesn't deserve a recall all i'm saying people is that i mean we we cannot upgrade to a car a different ex30 it's not really a different ex30 but you, you know where i'm coming from so to get back to 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 where the world is going if it comes to renewable i've got we've got a city in that is in cape town and they are having a massive solar that just went went uh, up into the grid as well as the city so hopefully we can travel there one day and then get our ex30 charged up with, with pure clean energy coming from from the sun so that's a massive project and it's really awesome to see that the city is um you know take, taking that up and that is 540 megawatts of solar that is in Kenherd. Kenherd, if I even say that um, name correctly in English. Forgive me, people, please. Um, so that is absolutely awesome. Annually, um, that is 900 uh, gigawatts of, of power that, that will be provided. And it's one of the world's largest uh, solar projects in in the world so that's awesome that is that's really really awesome and then just and i will put the links down below that you guys can have a look and then also from the r the rei that will be the 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 renewable energy institute and they basically monitors a lot of solar projects that that's happening um around the world and then of course this is the world largest but then we've got a lot happening in Dubai we've got a lot happening in, in India we've got a lot happening in the United States and Egypt and then of course in the uh, United Emirates and Portugal and PB you can you can go on on this website and have a look at guys what what what's actually happening there and you know it, it's just so many projects that's happening i mean i'm looking at one of these this is now a mirror um that's happening in in um, Moktau, Rashad. that will be a 5000 megawatt that will be done by 2030 so really it's happening and then also a little bit about china we still get the china is really moving around um half of the energy that's now generated in in China is now 55% so that's just good to know if you or if we're getting a lot of our things from China it's good to know that at least half of that energy is hopefully generated by the Sun and I mean 
we work on on what we can see online i don't know i don't have necessary links but that's that's a very united uh, uh that's general information for 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 from the internet and for for people all over the world i mean that's just great to know that we are moving into the into the more cleaner and and getting our uh, here i am in, in south africa sunny day today and i was driving around um i was just doing a, a delivery quickly and I was just realizing that we've got so many warehouses and we've got so many energy that's just getting wasted, it's getting cooked up in the sun and, and we've got so many uh, uh, roofs that's, that's out in the open that, I mean, I still personally believe if we take all the industrial areas in, in, in Johannesburg, we should be able to actually power the whole of, of, of um of, of Johannesburg, no problem because we will have batteries and I'm talking about 24 hour power I'm not talking about only during the day and even in, in, in cloudy days where the battery packs obviously with batteries included that's where the batteries come in it's very important to, to have that but people, I always wanted to do a quick news flash and then also what I, what I do see from the core and going back to the EX30 is that the, the EC Four, that's now from the Citroen. It's looking at 32,000 pounds and you can actually now, if not 33,000 pounds with all the add extras in there and you can get a plus from 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 Volvo at the same price and you can get a 200 kilowatt instead of 115 so it shows you that it's really a really affordable product and it's not only affordable quality is there and safety is there of course so that's that's also one that I was thinking that's that's really just shows you once again that the EX30 is next next level and go and look at my other videos that I've done about comparisons as well with the Mini and all of the other smaller cars and you're probably getting more of a more of a robust product compared to 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 the other products that's much smaller if you if you know what I mean four door um, rear wheel drive I think it's very very important that we put it out there that rear wheel drive is just so so much better if it comes to driving in general because you will have an overspin on the wheels and doesn't matter what anyone says to you believe me I've driven in a front wheel drive and there is an overspin especially in our dusty roads in South Africa there is definitely an overspin on the front wheels if you accelerate an electric cars because obviously the energy is immediately there and then and then uh, yes uh, We've got so many complaints, don't we? With California having the rows standing at the charging stations, so we're getting a lot more anti-EVs out there. I still do not know why. We do not charge at home from the California point of view. I still do not understand that, and I still do not understand these booking options, there's better uh, home charging that you can do. There's so much you can do, in, in, especially in California with all of those rows and the adoption happening so quickly. But I personally do not think we have to stand in rows in California. So that's also one that I think was was getting in there if it comes to the news flashes today, and I was thinking to mention that. And that is it for it for today, guys. So I'll be seeing you in my next video. And keep on looking at the content, the content that's coming. In, uh, I'm sitting and waiting here for the EX City, guys. Literally, I'm really waiting to get, get you guys some more content. But I obviously would like to do that with the car. But I will see you in the next one. And thank you very much for watching.